Kidnap, rape, torture, mutilation, beheading, burning of people alive, murder are terrible crimes against humanity. All of this was done on October 7th in Israel. All of this is being done now in Darfur, and much of it was or still is being committed in Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Afghanistan, the Congo region, Somalia, Nigeria, Myanmar, Ukraine, and in many other places. Few to no one cares about the suffering, rape, murder, and atrocities committed against the people of Darfur. It does not conform to the political or religious narratives of those that claim to care about peace, justice, Palestinian rights, or human rights in general. Too often the arguments against Israel pivot away from what is most fundamental for not only Israel, but for all of humanity. Do people have the right to kidnap, rape, torture, mutilate, behead, burn people alive, torture, murder? Does anyone, any person, organization, group, or nation have the right to kidnap, rape, mutilate, torture, murder? There is only a no to this question. It is as clear as day and night. Even in war, where civilians are harmed and killed, which always occurs in modern day warfare, especially when war is waged in densely populated areas with today's modern weapons, there are rules of engagement. The deliberate targeting and killing of unarmed civilians is murder and not legitimate acts of war. Rape is never an act of war. It is never justified. Rape, murder, kidnapping, mutilation, burning people alive, torturing, deliberately targeting, harming, and killing defenseless civilians or defenseless people are never legitimate acts of war or resistance. Yet it is now clear that hundreds of millions of people, if not billions, believe that kidnap, rape, murder, torture, beheading, burning people alive, and other atrocities are acceptable, justifiable, excusable, or even laudable and commendable. That is why they support Hamas and similar Jew-hating organizations actively seeking the genocide of Jews. That is why they are silent when it comes to the rape, murder, torture, and genocide occurring right now in Darfur. There is a difference between opposing the war in Gaza because of the harm, destruction, and death being inflicted upon civilians and supporting the crimes against humanity committed by Hamas and their allies on October 7th and their continued genocidal efforts along with Hezbollah, Iran, and others to wipe out the Jews in Israel. It is tragic that few people are concerned about the fate of the innocent women, children, and civilians of Darfur who are being mass raped, tortured, and murdered. It is disgraceful that because Jews are not involved and somehow cannot be demonized for the nightmare that is occurring in Darfur, few to no one cares. Millions of people, if not billions of people, want the war in Gaza to stop, not because they truly care about Palestinian Arab civilians, but because they want Israel to be destroyed and for Hamas to stay in power, rearm, and achieve its genocidal goals. They want there to be more rape, torture, mutilation, murder, and other atrocities. They do not care that Hamas started this completely senseless and unnecessary war on October 7th, and that it is Hamas that hides in the multi-billion dollar terror tunnels of Gaza that they constructed using the civilians of Gaza as their human shields. The defenders of kidnapping, rape, torture, mutilation, murder use all kinds of excuses that justify to defend the terrible crime that Hamas and Zanji have committed. This is the argument that oppressed people had the right to have a right to rape and murder. Jews of Israel have their own history of oppression and persecution, including the fact that the majority of the Jewish population of Israel originated in the Middle East where many were persecuted, ethnically cleansed, and had their lands and properties taken. But no sane Jewish person, no sane person among the many millions of people, of oppressed people in the world, would support, condone, or commit kidnapping, rape, mutilation, torture, mur murder, and other atrocities. Some argue that kidnap, rape, and murder did not take place on October 7th in a deceitful effort to erase crimes against humanity. Other blame the others blame Israel itself for the kidnapping, rape, murder, and other atrocities, figuring that since many that Jews are already perversely hated by many, there will be many that will be that will buy this demonic sense, this demonic line of reasoning. The war in Gaza needs to end. The hostages need to be free, and Hamas needs to leave, so there will be no more October 7th massacres. As Hamas openly proclaims to want war, and no more harm to the civilians of Gaza. 
that Hamas and Islamic Jihad hide beneath and behind and use as their human shields. Let all of Hamas and Islamic Jihad be given free passage to join their billionaire and billionaire leaders living in luxury in countries like Qatar, Turkey, and Iran that support the nightmare that Hamas and Islamic Jihad unleashed. Regardless of the reasons that kidnapping, rape, and murder are condoned or even lauded and celebrated, the fact remains that either humans live with a basic core of morality or humanity descends into the depths of depravity. This is not about liking or favoring Israel or Palestinian Arabs or another group. It is about acknowledging that no matter what one believes, no matter one's preferences, even if one hates or loves Israel or another country, even if one loves or hates a particular group of people, a particular race, religion, or ethnicity, no one ever has the right to kidnap, rape, murder, torture, murder, and commit atrocities. No one has ever has the right to deliberately harm and murder civilians and defenseless people. Kidnapping, rape, torture, beheading, burning people alive, murder, and other atrocities are never acceptable. If they become acceptable, as they are now, even encouraged, as, not, as is now taking place, and if this becomes the norm for humanity, then there is no hope left. There will be nothing, no future left for humanity. There will be nothing left worth fighting for. It will no longer matter if humanity perishes from the destruction that it is inflicting upon the environment, or upon itself, or 